Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger and my friends, Mortal Kombat Patch Day is here and it also comes with a healthy dosage of our new playable character, Peacemaker. So in this video, we're going to be kind of two parts. I want to talk about just what's in the patch, what's applicable, what's relevant, and also just some early impressions on Peacemaker himself. I think he is a pretty dang cool character. But first, patch stuff. Number one, big one. Crossplay is a go. So if you want to play with your friends on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, it works. Two note real quick. Yes, it's not on everything just yet. King of the Hill. There's no crossplay on King of the Hill just yet. It's more for like casual and ranked. But crossplay for King of the Hill is coming soon. They have stated. Besides that, if you're a big fan of the store, hey, we got new content coming. Uh, we have stuff like Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero. And it's been data mined, there'll be more classic skins coming for Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Smoke as well. Also, if you're so inclined, you can now block people online. So if you don't like a certain person to keep running to in matchmaking, if you block them, you'll never match up against them ever again. Also, for strong quality of life changes in practice mode, a lot of character-specific options have been added. So here we have Natara and General Shao. So if we go to practice settings here, we can see the character specific settings like Shao. Does he have the axe or has he uh, got his buff up or no axe or whatever, right? So let's say now no axe. And now we reset and you can see here the axe is on the ground. So if you only want to practice with uh, the axe down, it's actually very easy. Uh, someone's put a lot of lab time in the Shao myself, having to consistently dump the axe over and over and over. That's like a significant percentage of my life at this point. So that's a really good change. And once again, in here, like Natara, you can have Blood Sacrifice up as well. So this is going to be character to character, but if a character has like a modular mode at all, you can now find it under practice settings and options, and you can change it up to be whatever you need it to be. So it just makes practicing a lot easier. It'll save you a lot of time. That's really cool. That's really good. Now, real quick, before we get into balance changes, there is a full patch note list. I'll have that link for you in the video description. Because uh, there's a lot of things that are just like purely bug fixes and also a lot of things that aren't like gameplay balance like uh, there's a lot of invasion content stuff as well. Once again, patch notes, video description, check that out if you want the full details. I'll be covering what's like pertinent for game balance. First big one here is for Kenshi. So one, when he's in puppet stance, it's a lot more clear you're in puppet stance as the cameo meter is now blue. Certainly is a cosmetic change, but just good for general screen readability. Now, the major change is this. While Sento Spirit is out, if it gets hit for whatever reason, Kenshi now takes damage. So before it was just simply, you know, you couldn't use the puppet a little bit. You waited out, whatever, right? But now there is consequences for Kenshi getting hit. It's not huge. He doesn't really take like much actual damage. But it is a little bit, uh, according to the patch notes, is specifically 20 damage. So there's a bit of a consequence for your puppet getting hit. Once again, not big, but certainly more than the nothing it's always been. Also, for color stuff when it comes to the cameos, if Sindel steals the opponent's cameo, you'll now notice here her cameo meter is going to be pink. So while it's pink, that's when you have control over their cameo specifically and can do whatever cameo moves they have, right? So it's just a good visual indicator that you have their cameo. Not a balance change necessarily, but good quality of life. Now, Quan Chi has got something fun. He got an all new move. So you know how he has like the portals and all that kind of stuff? He's got an all new portal. So this is quarter circle forward and three. And this is the zone of waste and it basically just drains the opponent's meter. So look at Natara's meter. It's not a big drain, but it's still a drain. But if it drains enough meter, look at Quan Chi. You notice that little buff pop up? That is armor specifically. So if you manage to drain enough meter, you gain a hit of super armor. Like what is not the love, right? That's actually really, really cool. And just like the other portals, you can move it around if you hold the button, right? So it has like all that kind of utility. And also you can have multiple portals live at the same time now. So if you have like say the base portal, you can have base portal, EX portal, and that portal all go in at the same time. So if you want to fill the screen with effects, you totally can. Also, Zone of Fear, this is EX portal. So Zone of Fear now lasts longer, lasts two seconds longer than it did. So before it was kind of not very useful, but now 
a full two seconds longer being able to bully people around a little bit, there might be some proper use for that. But yeah, just being able to kind of fill the screen with all sorts of silly portals and the new portal, just new moves in general, that is legitimately great. Also, feel the bones, that's the cage trap, will now go off if it's blocked. And this is for the regular and the enhanced version as well. So before it was blocked, like that was it, there was nothing, right? So now if you force them to block it, like it's always gonna go off no matter what, right? So this will still cage their movement. So even if they block, like they still can't move forward, right? So this is really gonna help the control game, the control aspect. All you gotta do is just aim it correctly. And as long as you're gonna aim it correctly, you're always gonna get the cage effect. So that's super cool. And some other small changes, they don't go into full detail. Uh, his hurtbox regions were changed up for his crouching state. And we also have a heck of a lot of bug fixes. He was our last DLC character. So this is just kind of shining him up a little bit. And not balance related necessarily. I just want to point this out with Shujenko when he's stealing Peacemaker's moves, is he wears Peacemaker's silly helmet while doing it. And if you ever want to watch Shujenko uh, just shoot someone, that's one of his moves he steals from Peacemaker. I feel like the plot of Deception would have went in a very different way if uh, Shujenko just brought out the gun and started icing people with it. And now let's talk Peacemaker. Peacemaker is very silly in a lot of the best ways. Before we even get into like things like special moves, like the normals, like down three, down four, back four. So like your generic poke buttons, except down three. Well, I'm not gonna say it's the longest range down three in the game. It's certainly longer than most, right? Not bad for what it is. Down four is really good. Uh, you know, kind of generic 10 frame starter, but it's a uh, really good specifically on block as it's got like intense pushback on block. So it just has a quick poke, that's good. And speaking of a quick poke, yo, back four, his sweep, right? I know he's shooting you in the ankle, but it's still a sweep. The range on this is ridiculous. So like, look at that. It hits from so far away. Nether Realm being Nether Realm, we always get those what you see is what you get hurt boxes. So the fact he steps away while doing it means he's probably pretty evasive as well. It's only negative seven on block. So like even point blank, it's basically safe with the pushback because the pushback is super intense. Like what a good normal. I remember when uh, Omni-Man came out, his sweep was unique in that it did way too much damage. And I guess Peacemaker's deal is his sweep's just like double the range of everybody else's. Like the only one that can even come close is like Katana off the top of my head. So I guess guest characters just have special sweeps. That's gonna be the gimmick from now on. But hey, okay, let's just talk Peacemaker as a whole here. What do we got to work with, right? Uh, he's a good grab bag of a lot of really decent things. So on paper, he has sort of a zoner tool set. Like one, he's got a gun. And one thing about this gun animation, I love this gun animation. Ask anyone on Twitter about my opinion on this and they'll tell you how much I love it. But, uh, you know, solid just 7% projectile, right? 70 damage, nothing bad about it. The enhanced version, Knock down anywhere on screen, full crumple, right? So obviously like if you're comboing in the strings or whatever, like easy combo ability, but even full screen. Uh, he has uh, his headbutt torpedo move, like his uh, effective sumo headbutt, if you will, right? So he can always convert no matter where he is. That's really, really cool. And you know, basic high gunshot, sure, whatever. Like, you know, a lot of the cast has a basic projectile, but how we make that really rounded out is, we got Eagly the Eagle. So Eagly the Eagle is uh, 80 damage mid. So no neutral duck in this bad boy, right? Not like, you know, the usual projectile. If you try to duck, you gonna get eagled. So we have a quick high. We got a pretty quick mid for what it is. Also, as you can see, it launches. And yes, from full screen, sumo headbutt, it works just as well, right? So good conversion capabilities. But we also have a low version that launches. I remember looking at, you know, the trailer, I'm like, this can't be a meterless low launcher. No, it's a meterless low launcher. It's exactly that. The one thing is he moves forward while doing it. So if it gets blocked, not only is it gonna be negative, they're making sure you're gonna be closer to the enemy to punish you for doing it, right? So full screen, you know, not too much of a penalty. Also, you may notice right there, if you try to call Eagly too fast, it will not let you. There's a bit of a cooldown on him. So you gotta manage your eagle resource, I guess. But yeah, low launching projectile, meterless. So we got a high. We got an EX high that crumples. And combo from that, right? 
We got a mid, and if you do the mid from full screen, also enough time to tack on some damage. And we got a straight up low that you can totally combo from. So, full screen presence is pretty good. Now add to that, now you add the suite of zoning moves together, and you add the fact that he has projectile defense built in. He has projectile invulnerability. No need for a sub-zero cameo or anything like that. He can just go invulnerable to projectiles, right? So, so while you're attempting to counter zone him, he can just shoot you back with like very little consequence, right? So just a good ability to control the screen from a full distance away because you got all sorts of good options to work with. And people's ability to kind of mess with you from full screen is very low because you got a force field. And the enhanced force field, uh, you got a little bit of that night wolf in you. Against more traditional projectiles, if you do the enhanced version, that little bit where you glow yellow is just a straight up reflect. So if you're willing to burn just a little bit of meter on top of just being invincible, like you'll gain the full shield after the fact anyways, you can do your haha -ha reversal, I wanna be Nightwolf gotcha. So yeah, just plus projectiles plus anti-projectiles. And also more plus anti stuff, I guess. So Eagle is not just a projectile, he's also screen control against cameos. So you can call him, and if a cameo enters screen while he's on screen, he will like literally peck their eyes out. Like he'll rip them apart, right? So uh, that's good screen control. And there's no resource governing this. You can do this basically whenever you want. So he's not active for very long, but if you anticipate a cameo call, he'll just stop the cameo, attack him, and the enemy will take damage the whole time this is happening as well. And it doesn't cost you meter, it doesn't cost cooldown, nothing other than you can't call eagerly while he's on the screen. And all you gotta do is hit down the stand switch button and that's it. So you're not committing like any complex, like, you know, uh, inputs or anything, right? So it's just a really cool trait that he can uh, kind of control cameos. Like once again there, you see it whiffed, right? It's not super active, it's only there for a couple frames. If an opponent's cameo is on screen for a longer amount of time, that's when you really can like just react to it at that point and he'll just rip him the shreds. But yeah, Eagly, he's a cool friend to have. Besides that, just more screen control elements. And now the projectile actually is just down back one. Uh, just a straight up anti-air, a little toxic dart. You can hold it. You can do some silly moving around while doing it. And you can also just hit block and cancel out of it, right? So if you want to do something silly like string canceling into it and then canceling out, that is something you can do. I'll have to play around and see if there's any you know, viability to that, but it's interesting at least. Things like the sumo headbutt we talked about, just get charge normal. Uh, if you want to do an enhanced version, that is your armored move. So if you catch people tossing stuff full screen, easy enough punish. It's got a teleport series. Uh, what's really cool is barely negative on block, but then again, you can up block it as well, right? However, if you hold up, you don't have to commit to any attack at all. So when you hold up, instead of just doing the stock overhead, you will be able to either do a jumping normal, so like say like a jump two or jump three or whatever you want to do, or just do nothing. And if you do the enhanced version, it's basically a big escape. He'll just run away. And if you hold up during the runaway, then he'll also teleport. So you can do silly things like this and then cancel your landing of your attack into more teleports and it's just be really silly with it. You can't do them while in the air. So that's one thing here. But uh, any kind of teleport is always useful, even if the base overhead's there. But since you can cancel do the aerial version of an attack, you know, easy enough to go into strings or whatever. And you can also govern the movement. You can be, be closer, you can be further. There's a lot of potential there. He's got a very good all round of moveset. Not the least of which, he's got meterless launchers. So like basic string, boom, sonic boom. Uh, not to be confused with the other sonic boom. But yeah, like easy peasy easily goes into itself while you're in the corner meterlessly right if you want something a little past the basics uh in the mid screen though you can do the enhanced version enhanced version is jump cancelable so you can just kind of do whatever from there right so like general combo ability is very easy and also let's talk about combo ability and some of the normal strings here so stuff like two two one plus three so one plus three that's a true grab so they're holding block and they still get hit and the crazy thing with this like weird little hit grab compared to some of the other hit grabs in the game, like say Havoc, his, after the hit, is cameo cancelable. So you can do a lot with that. Like obviously uh, using Striker here, just a basic hit, but, so say you're being overly defensive here and I got a different cameo like Frost, 
Got you, crack you open, haha, <laughs> freeze. And now you're gonna eat a whole combo off that. That's like a grappler trade almost. And I know what you're thinking, well, Rufamonger, I'll just, you know, neutral duck. And sure, okay, you got me, you got me. Except there's a mid attached to the string as well. So you can either go for the throw or you can go for the mid. And before you give me, well, Rufamonger, I believe I'll just fuzzy guard the side. Shut up, okay? None of you guys can ever do it. And it doesn't matter because the throw and the mid hit on the exact same frame. It's a true guess. Now, admittedly, there's a gap there. You can armor through it, sure. But then again, that's the beauty of fighting games, right? There's the guessing element. Will they, won't they? Maybe I'll just block it, whatever. But yeah, so just as a basic string, I think that's really strong. And other things like stand one is plus three, stand one, two, high mid, also plus three on block. Good sources of plus frames, always welcome. Forward four, it's a really good neutral string button here because forward four one is a natural string combo and you can just kind of go into whatever from there, right? Um, it's slower startup, but it's uh, safe on block, right? So you don't got to commit too much here. Mid, mid, negative five, so it's safe, that works out. If you're a little bit closer and you're looking for those mids, back two, four also works out, also safe on block, minus five. Has a throw combo ender if you're looking for it. Uh, not the same as the other one. It's not a tick throw setup enabler. Uh, specifically, if you're looking for like a like gun combos after the fact, it will leave them airborne. Although it'll stagger them after the fact. But the hit reaction is just a little bit different than you might expect. But still, the mids are there. Everyone loves those mids. Mids are there. Combo structure seems pretty easy. Like do whatever in the sonic boom into a launch. That's like almost an easy 300 there. Didn't even spend any meter. Very freeform as well, just because uh, the grab combo lets you call assist, right? It's kind of handy. Like say something here, say we do want to burn meter on Sonic Boom. No gotta get too inventive. We don't gotta burn too many brain cells. It just kind of all works, right? I just invented that on the spot. I didn't plan this out at all. It just actually just works. Being able to call uh, a cameo once you've regrounded the enemy standing later on in the combo will probably lead to some pretty cool stuff down the line. I highly suggest you hit the lab and experiment for yourself. Okay, hang on a second. We're gonna test out something right now. Does this actually work? I hope not. That'd be kind of stupid. All these assist. Okay, it knocks, okay. Okay, there we go. That not, if you do two headbutts in one combo, it knocks down to prevent the exact silliness I was trying to go for. Okay, so that, that now you know, now you know. Don't You don't gotta test it out yourself. And he also plays very well with various ambush assists as well for just general combo extensions. There's basically anything in the gunshot and the ambush and it all kind of combo into itself. Ooh, that restands in the corner actually. That's not bad, okay. Um, Maybe there's some Kano synergy going on here with a Beastmaker. Maybe try that out, I guess. I I'm I'm figuring this out live as I'm recording because that's uh, just how it's got to be, right? It's a busy day, Street Fighter patch, Tekken patch coming out in a couple hours. Uh, but yeah, so Peacemaker likes those cameos. He's got a lot more combo synergistic opportunities more than the average character. Thanks to stuff like the restand here and just like basic string and the gunshot holds him in place long enough. Or just more shenanigans like it all seems to work out pretty good so a lot more labbing needs to be done a lot more stuff needs to be played around with but so far initial impressions of peacemaker are pretty good you know i know a lot of people have been looking forward to him people love those guest characters right and as an actual character in the game strong zoning suite anti-zoning suite uh just screen control suite Silliness with teleports. He's got a lot to work with. Like, I guess the only thing I can fault with is like his strings are only all right, not bad. Just only all right. But then again, you know, as we talked about at the beginning, he's got some of those King Kong normals. So that certainly uh, might make up for some lack of variety of strings. But yeah, Peacemaker, pretty cool. And for now, my friends, that is your Mortal Kombat 1 update. So, patch. Not too much in the way changes, a lot of good quality of life stuff, bug fixes, and obviously cross plays the big one. And hey, Peacemaker as well, Janet Cage coming out sometime in March. 
Uh, maybe with Janet, we'll get a more significant balance patch, or hopefully at least sometime in the near future, because I think the game could use one at this point, but we'll wait and see. But until then, my friends, that is the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Mortal Kombat.